The oscillator is the source of tone in your synthesizer. The oscillators in the arterial matrix brute are over here on the left. Now these oscillators are made up sort of similarly to the oscillators that were present in the arterial mini brute and the arterial micro brute. So they have sort of the same functionality. To get a sound, you're gonna need to turn up one of the waveform volume knobs. Here's the sawtooth wave. We also have a square wave. In addition to that, a triangle wave. Now the great thing about these is that you don't have to just choose one, you can choose any of them or all of them all together in any amount that you desire. When you add these all together, you get a more complex waveform and any oscillator that will allow you to create complex waveforms is a great oscillator. Now this oscillator in specific, not only allows you to create complex waveforms by mixing and matching sawtooth, square and triangle, but there are also modifications that you can do to these different waves. The ultra saw on the sawtooth gives the sawtooth a flavor like it's multiple sawtooths happening at once slightly detuned. So even in one oscillator, you have the sound possibility of two oscillators. The square wave has the ability to have its pulse width modified. As you remember, a square wave is square and its pulse width is how wide that square is. As you adjust the, the pulse width, it goes from square to rectangular, making a more nasal sound. The triangle is unique because the functionality that it has associated with it, it's called the metalizer and this is a wave folder. It uh, basically folds the wave shape of the triangle, creating a new timbre. And this timbre is really cool because while it is analog, it sounds very digital. Very cool. It sounds different all the way as you turn the knob. And of course, you can have all these waves going with their unique uh, wave additions simultaneously. So you're capable of creating really complex waveforms with this uh, oscillator. In addition to that, we also have a sub oscillator. The sub oscillator is a situation where the waveforms frequency is divided in two to create a waveform that is an octave lower in frequency than that which the oscillator is set to, allowing you to create a bassier sound. It can be used in tandem with the waveforms present in the oscillator or by itself. You have the option of using a sine wave or the sort of rounded square wave. or any combination thereof. It's continuously variable with this knob here. And lastly, we have the ability to set the frequency we want for this oscillator. If we go to the coarse frequency uh, in the center, we have these frequencies. As you go up, you will hear the frequency go up in half steps. When you hit the octave, you'll see the light come on. So it makes it really easy, easy to change the frequency of this oscillator via octaves. We can get it all the way down to the clicks. Now, uh, also, when you're playing and you want to tune oscillators to themselves, as these oscillators are analog, they do sort of vary in tuning, or you want to tune to an external source, you have the fine tune. 
which alters the tuning slightly in order for you to completely make yourself in tune with uh, the oscillators or external sources. That is the oscillator.